welcome to episode 1190, Osman Kibar, Regenerative Medicine and Reverse Aging, Nine Lessons. It's an outline of episode 1190, lesson 1 to 5. This is lesson 6 to 9. Lesson 1 is an inventor of many drugs. Here are some examples. For osteoarthritis, we have an injection. We're able to regenerate the cartilage back to a healthy level. Another program, again, single injection, and we are able to regenerate a whole new disc. Lesson 2, the strength of American culture. Did a man on the moon? I actually went back and counted. That was space mission number 72. Level of resilience, the level of perseverance, the lack of fear that you're going to fail and therefore not try in the first place, that just doesn't exist in the American culture. Lesson three, his technology is wind pathway. It's called the wind pathway. The inactive wind pathway in a normal cell. In most normal cells, the wind pathway is inactive. Activation of the wind pathway in a normal cell. By binding of the extracellular factor wind to the membrane receptor frizzled, or FZD, and to its co-receptor, LRP, the wind pathway is activated. Lesson 4, the medical application of his technology, hair loss, ligament repair. Bone spurs are eliminated, and this is while the ligaments are still clipped. So it's able to restore the health of the overall joint. These are human x-rays from clinical trials. The picture on the left, and then again, single injection. We grow cartilage on the inside of the knee. We have an oncology pill. This one, we designed it as a pill so it goes everywhere in the body such that it treats both primary tumors and metastatic tumors. SN5, the Robert College Connection. Robert College is a prestigious boarding school in Istanbul. When I was, or especially when I was building my own company. In my senior management, I have three people all of them from the same high school. Two of them my classmates. This is a picture of the three Turkish amigos from Robert College. This is six, the stealth mode strategy for eight years. We started operations about 10 years ago, so we've been at it for a long time. First eight years, we operated in stealth mode. We knew the potential of what we had, what we had discovered. Never published, we never included our targets in any of the patent applications, none of that. After eight years, we decided we have enough of a head start that we should start publishing our data. Starting November 15th, we have... Lesson 7, team and culture determines long-term financial success. What we believe we were most successful with our company was the team we were able to put together and the culture that we were subscribing to to grow the company. Lesson 8, one of his first job was working for a hedge fund in New York. Hedge fund was called Pequot Capital. Lesson nine, how to handle overnight success. At some point, uh, our CFO, you know, when asked why I would never uh, go to any events and, you know, never speak at events, he would say, look, you know, Osman is not just media shy, he's actually media hostile. I think the reason was more than that. It was because everybody was focused on the financials rather than our values. I just didn't see a point. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.